Hey guys, it's Ashley Fultz from The Style Edit Tricks. I'm here with another video today, and this one's all about being a first time mom and the first year and the things that I've learned. So I wanted to just share a few thoughts and ideas that I had with you guys, some things that I think are really important for first time mamas to know. So we just made it through a year. Smith had his first birthday in I have to tell you, the first year, everyone told us it was the hardest and it definitely was super hard. So hopefully it gets a little bit easier from here. I already feel like it's easier, it's weird. It's like as soon as he turned one, bam, it was easier. So that's kind of crazy. But the first few weeks, man, those were rough. I look back on them now and I don't know how I got through it. We weren't really sleeping and I was so scared and nervous about everything and I had so many questions and I really felt like I wasn't doing anything right. Um, but now I look back and I'm like, man, I wish I would have just relaxed a little bit and just enjoyed when he was so, so tiny. He was just such a little infant, but it all comes with its its traumas and everything else. My, my tips for the beginning are definitely read up so that you can get your baby to sleep as soon as possible. Cherish the first six weeks. I've talked about it before on my blog and YouTube, um, but then also... I think breastfeeding is another thing that a lot of people don't talk about and you should definitely take classes or read up about it. For me, it was super hard and I really did not enjoy it. Um, and that's okay and it's maybe not for everyone. And so after six weeks, I finally let go and started supplementing formula um, with the breast milk, which helped me tremendously and it helped my hormones tremendously and it made me just a happier person. So that's just my little tip that I'll give you guys if you're struggling in the first few weeks. Next up, it's like, what is the first year like? I have to tell you it like this. Three months, things felt, okay, we can do this. We're getting there. And he was sleeping through the night, thank goodness. So I'm one of the lucky ones. By six months, I felt good. By nine months, I thought, I totally can handle this. And by a year, I have to tell you, I am just so happy. Like I said before, it's like a light switch has gone on. He is so interactive and fun and smiles and giggles and loves to play. And it's it's really just night and day. And I cannot wait for him to start talking more. He says mama and dada now, but I know once we can have a conversation, it's gonna get even more fun. And he's just beginning to walk too. So that's gonna be its whole thing on its own. I know like, after a year, there's a lot more struggles. It's just different struggles. Now we're gonna go into the toddler struggles. So I'm about to read a book. I think it's called The Whole Brain Child um, on how to deal with toddler behavior because he's already starting temper tantrums, which is interesting. Everyone always said motherhood was the hardest but the best job. And I really didn't understand like exactly what that meant until probably a few months ago. It is literally the hardest, most challenging job ever. Um, but just when you think you can't do it anymore or you've just had it up to here, he smiles or he laughs or he hugs you or wants to kiss you and it just changes everything. You know you can do it and you just feel amazing and you're the happiest person alive or just when you're so tired and you cannot wait for the baby to go to bed, you miss them while they're sleeping and you look at the monitor. It's just such a weird sort of balancing act as a mom and it's it's not really thankful, you know, a thankful job to where people are like, oh, you're, you're doing such a great job or your baby's thanking you like, thanks mom. That doesn't happen. So you just kind of have to reassure yourself, which leads me into my next thought. Take time for yourself the first year. That is one thing I've definitely learned. You know, I never really appreciated all the alone time and the me time I got before baby, but now I know it's super important to plan out different things, whether it's a girl's night or going to the spa or just a manicure and pedicure or even just going to grab a cup of coffee by myself. It makes a huge difference. It makes you a better mama, a better wife, and a better woman to have your alone time and have your me time so that when you are taking care of the baby, you feel good about yourself and you feel like you can do it and, and you know who you are. Next, I just want to say, go easy on your husbands. I know everyone's super tired, stressed out. It's a whole new life you're dealing with in the first year of having a baby. And sometimes you want to punch your husband, but don't because just think about it. They're probably dealing with the exact same issues you are in their own sort of way, but it's probably even more difficult for them. Moms have this super like natural mom instinct and we can just kind of step up to the plate and get it all done and do it. Dads don't have that quite same thing. Um, um, their skills I think definitely kick in later on and my husband's a really hands-on dad but it's still just different like mom knows exactly what to do when so give your husbands a break and definitely try to take date nights and enjoy each other and try not to kill each other. 
My last little tip or lesson that I've learned is enjoy the first year. Yes, it's super hard and trying and demanding and you have a whole new life now, but it goes so fast, like lightning fast. Like I cannot believe how fast this past year has gone. So enjoy it. They're not gonna be tiny little babies forever and you are so lucky that you have a baby and a healthy baby hopefully and a happy baby. So enjoy it and just try to take some time to smell the roses every once in a while and just take a deep breath and kiss the baby and hug them and, and it's all gonna be okay, mama. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely share it with any mama friends that you have and let me know if you have any comments below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Thanks and check back next week because I have a new video up every week.